Well, good afternoon. I worked on that WD of mine uh, a couple weeks ago. Put new tires on the back. Got it all fixed up. And worked on another WD. Got it tuned up. Took it down the road there where it's going to sell at auction there. 10th of August, I believe. And uh, this thing been bothering me a little bit. This little eight in Ford. It's been sitting here, oh, I guess maybe about two years, I think. I know it was sitting up here closer to the tree. And the last time I had it running, I was thinking, I don't remember what it was, but I think I started it up and backed it up there in the yard and it quit on me. And I let it sit there all winter. This spring I pushed it back up here out of the way a little bit. And uh, so I thought it was about time to do something with it. So this morning I brought this little air compressor up and pumped that tire up. Bought a new battery for it, put it in there already. Got a can of gas and a funnel, gonna put some gas in it. And then I'm gonna see if I see if it'll still run. And uh, um, it did. I don't know why it quit on me that one time, whether it was out of gas or it's got some dirt in it or who knows. But uh, I'll uh, put this camera on the tripod and uh, we'll get, get to work on it. All right, I just put the gas in and uh, I loosened up the sediment bowl so make sure the gas is coming out of the tank. Now, this thing's always been a little aggravating to get started. Uh, always give it a little shot of ether. Start the hood. Well, we'll see what happens. Turn the key on. Give it a shot of stuff. Well, look looky there, what you got to do to work on the points. You need to, I guess you don't really have to, but you just about have to take the distributor off. Right there it is. There's the points. There's way down there in the bottom someplace, I couldn't hardly see them. They look like new. That, that cap's new. Anyhow. So, I'll go get me some emery cloth and shine them up a little. I assume that's what the matter is. All right, and you gotta take that thing off, and uh, when you put it back on, I guess them things right there are offset, and they'll only go back one direction, and this thing was level when I took it off, so I'll make sure I keep it right there so I can put it back together the right way. All right, that's enough for now. That runs. That's an awful job working on that distributor. 
getting it back in there. Points good. Never thought about it until I had the distributor off. It might have been an ignition switch. I reckon that's what the trouble was. All right. Bad switch. All right. You gotta get a new switch. Boy, maintenance on these old tractors is something else. You gotta fix it. Get something new for it every time you start them. All right, that's enough for now. Uh, yeah, it's still working. Tomorrow. I'm going down to uh, Malta, Ohio. Watch some uh, Ford, newer Ford tractors, some 70, 7,010, 7,000, 5,000, 4,000. Watch a few other tractors sell at auction. Oh, right here, I just got the tractor here, now it starts sprinkling. I guess it's quitting time. All right, that's enough for now.